Attention teachers, if your televisions are not on, please turn them on to view night vision. Hey Knights, I'm Savannah. And I'm Dylan. On February 20th, 2018. And you're watching Night Vision News. Seniors, Friday, March 2nd is the last day to turn in your baby pictures and send them to Hank's yearbook 2018 at gmail.com or bring them to room 305 for them to be scanned. Make your last yearbook a memorable one. Remember this week, mandatory tutoring for English 1 begins and will run every Monday and Tuesday before or after school until April 3rd. Mandatory tutoring sessions for English 2 will run twice a week on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays through April 5th. If you are not sure which room or teacher to report to, please check with any English teacher or Mr. Ortega in the Information Center. Remember, all sessions are mandatory. Seniors, if you want a senior favorite category and have not received information regarding pictures, Make sure to stop by room 305 to pick up the information and your certificate. Also, make sure to read information carefully and be prompt with your pictures. Reminder that EOC math tutoring is on Wednesdays and EOC science tutoring is on Thursdays. Freshmen, if you received a letter, make sure to report to the designated teacher, classroom, and time for tutoring. Attendance will be taken. Are you an El Paso Community College dual credit student and about to graduate? Do we have a deal for you? In partnership with Wells Fargo, EPCC is offering a new scholarship for those entering EPCC this fall. Have completed 12 dual credit hours and carry at least a 2.7 GPA. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Talk to your counselor today. El Paso Community College is the best place to start and finish. Every Wednesday in February, Interact will be selling Chick-fil-A in front of Dome 1 during both lunches. Meals include a sandwich, chips, a drink, and dessert for only $6. Book club meeting tomorrow, February 21st, during both lunches. Everyone is welcome. DECA will hold its next general meeting Wednesday, February 21st, during both lunches. We will be planning an end-of-the-year event and begin planning for next year. All those who are interested in learning how business works are encouraged to attend. Membership is not required for general meetings. Knights, if you put your yearbook on a payment plan, please stop by room 305 during lunch A or B to give a payment before the price increases. Also, if you want a yearbook, they will be $100 on parent night. Price will increase after parent night. It's Victoria with sports. Here's highlights from last night's basketball game. Last night, the Hanks Knights played against Andrus at Andrus. In the first quarter, Andrus took the lead 13 to 11. In the second quarter, Andrus was ahead by eight, 33 to 25. Hanks was down only by five points in the third quarter, 45 to 40. In the end, Andrus took the win 79 to 60. Here's highlights from last Friday's gymnastics meet. In the Far War Texas Gymnastics Meet, the Hanks Boys and Girls Gymnastics team placed third. Christopher Mendoza placed second all around. Edwin De La Cruz placed eighth all around. For the girls, Paulina Tinajero placed third all around. Eliana Tecero placed fourth all around. Thank you to all who have supported gymnastics, and we invite all to the next meet at Bel Air. Soccer plays Isleta at Isleta at 5.30 p.m. Today, boys soccer plays Isleta at Isleta at 5.30 p.m. Today, softball plays Isleta at Isleta at 6.30 p.m. Today, baseball plays Eastwood here at Hanks at 6.30 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, softball participates in the Midland Tournament. Thursday through Saturday, baseball participates in the Burgess Tournament. Friday, girls soccer plays Canutia at at 7 p.m. Friday, boys soccer plays Canutia at at 5.30 p.m. Friday and Saturday, track participates in the Coronado Meet. Now back to you, Dylan and Savannah. That's all for today, Knights. And don't forget, tomorrow's Chick-fil-A Day. Bye! Bye.